Welcome to Sens Talk. My name is Brandon and I am your host tonight. Ottawa took on the Winnipeg Jets in Winnipeg. Ottawa, a day after the trade deadline, played against the New York Islanders, lost that game 3 to nothing. Ottawa is struggling mightily right now to score goals. But that definitely changed in the third period of today's game. But before we get to the third period, let's talk about the first period. After the Jets struck first to make it 1-0, Ottawa would end up tying it in the middle of the first period of play. A Zub shot from the point is deflected out front by Brady Kachuk. His 21st of the year ties it at one apiece. A beautiful tip, a better Selly. The captain evens things up at 1-1. We go to the second period of play, and not much is happening there. You know, Ottawa, say what you will about their offense. Their defense has been great as of late. They've been limiting uh, opposing teams' chances mightily. And when tested, Forsberg has been making the necessary massive stop. Forsberg was steady in that second period. Not tested a lot, but when tested, making the stop. We go to the third period of play, and this is when all hell breaks loose for the non-offense juggernaut Ottawa Sanders. Three goals in three minutes for the Sanders. Great Great passing here to make it 2-1 Sanders. Matthew Joseph, he finds Tyler Ennis. That breaks the deadlock. It's a 2-1 Sanders lead. Moments later, guess what, baby? The Sens just keep on coming. Like I said, there was three goals in three minutes. That's the first goal. The second goal comes on the power play. Colin White from right out front of the net puts it in. That's probably one Hellebuck wants back. Doesn't matter though. Ottawa is now up by two goals. It's a 3-1 game. By the way, that was the first penalty of the game. Uh, no penalties on either side up until that point. A costly penalty to the Winnipeg Jets. It was a 2-1 game at that point. That penalty occurred with six minutes left in the game. Ends up costing the Jets mightily. That's the Sanders' second goal in as many minutes, two minutes. And suddenly, the Sanders are up by two goals. Let's make it three as guess who? Tim Stutzla, with an unreal amount of patience here, finds Connor Brown streaking through the middle. He waits, he waits, he waits, then passes it right to Connor Brown, who's right there to tip it in. Past Hellebuck, who was sprawling, because Stutzla was so patient. What a threading of the needle pass from Tim Stutzla to give the Sanders a 4-1 lead. That is three goals and three minutes and 15 seconds. With a couple minutes left, the Jets do make it a 4-2 game. Uh, Kyle Connor gets his 40th of the year, but then it doesn't matter. Brady Kachuk puts it into the empty net to make it 5-2 Sanders. That's goal number 22 on the season for the Sander captain that ties a career high in goals. He's sure to break it with about 17 games left on the season. It looks good for Brady Kachuk. But the Sanders win it 5-2 over the Winnipeg Jets, damning their playoff chances. They're in the hunt. Ottawa certainly is not, and the Jets just got sends, and it might cost them their season. At the end of the day, these type of games, you got to win them if you're a team like the Jets on the brink, or on the edge anyways, of the playoff picture. Now some game notes. The first pairing of Branstrom and Zub was phenomenal again tonight. Zub, of course, getting that assist. Branstrom looked really active out there. I also wanted to give a shout out to Michael Delzato, uh, who got some power play time, looked really comfortable out there, and I'm glad to see he's playing well since his call up from Belleville. Never understood why he was down there for so long, but you know, I'm glad he's back up here. Definitely better than a lot of people thought he would be going into the season, and he's certainly too good for the AHL. Now Travis Hamnick as well made his Sander debut tonight. And you know, I made it a very important note in my trade uh, video discussing the Travis Hamnick deal. I wouldn't really get into Travis Hamnick's play because frankly, I haven't seen him play enough. You know, a lot of people were easy, uh, were quick to write him off on Twitter and everything. Um, we got to give the guy a chance. And tonight was a reason why we got to give him a chance. He looked pretty good, real steady. 15 or so minutes on the ice tonight. Just a steady uh, presence back there. Nothing spectacular, but nothing terrible either. Just smooth and steady. And uh, that that is how you win the race often. So uh, an impressive game from Travis Hamannick as well. I'm really happy to see it. I do hope some Sens fans give him a shot this year. Because let's not write the guy off. Um, sure, he might have struggled a bit in Vancouver. But there was a lot of external factors into why that happened. So... You know what? Let's give the guy a shot. Great start for him as an Ottawa Senator. Joseph as well acquired from Tampa Bay for Nick Paul. Got his first career point as an Ottawa Senator tonight too. 
So overall, a successful game for the new Ottawa Sanders, and then the existing ones like Captain Kachuk were phenomenal again as well with a two-goal game as the Sanders win it 5-2 over the Winnipeg Jets. And the next Sander game is on Saturday against the Florida Panthers as Claude Giroux comes home to the nation's capital to take on your Sanders. I will be at that game on Saturday. If you're there, give me a shout. Hopefully we can meet each other. I always love uh, talking to you guys that watch my videos. Um, as well, Claude Giroux, I'll put it on the screen here real quick. Uh, there's, there's a chance he is right now investigating the idea of potentially coming to Ottawa um, next year. So, you know, some people might say it's a pipe dream for Claude Giroux to come to Ottawa, but now Elliot Freeman, the most respected insider in hockey, is talking about the fact that Claude Giroux has interest. So that's something we will definitely keep an eye on, and I'll definitely make a video closer to the offseason discussing that. But I just wanted to give you that little tidbit there, because that excites me. I'm sure that excites you. Besides that, the Sanders win it 5-2 over the Winnipeg Jets. I will see you Saturday after Ottawa takes on the Florida Panthers. Thank you all for watching. See you soon. Go Suns go.